What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dash and Kevs and this is week 4 of the PML Summer Draft League. I am the coach of the Kings of Iron Fist and this week we take on Joe and the New England Chariots. Joe has a solid team, has bulky mons, good speed tiers, one of the better tier 1s in Togekiss. So the plan is to not have it set up for free. And we are going to have to max after it maxes to avoid flinching. This week we traded Gigalith for Indeedee. Losing a Bulkimon on the Spidef side is bad. However, Indeedee's wall breaking potential is something our other mons lack, especially on the special side. It also removes another fighting weakness from the team. So, not sure what he will bring to deal with that. But I'm predicting Togekiss, Arcanine, Phyloswine, Espeon, Frostmoth, Duraludon. Although he may bring Gengar just to prevent potential T-spikes, but mons like Indeedee, Obstagoon, Diggersby deters it from running like a Scarf set. If it's not Scarf, then Dragapult just uh, beats it easy. So, Seeking over Espeon and Gengar over Frostmon. Very interesting. I guess he wanted like a switch into Heliodisc, but Espeon was probably the only one that could switch into Indeedee. If the Duraludon is offensive without AV, that will drop as well. Now let's check out the game and see how it went. So I lead off with Bronzong as he leads off with Arcanine, revealing the Intimidate there. He goes for the Flare Blitz. Now this damage looks like he is a more bulky variant. Because I, I'm not sure what was it, but I think it would be a roll to get the KO. And that damage just looks like it is um, not invested, or not much investment at least. Also, interesting lead with Arcanine because he may have thought that I would be the Levitate version just in case he led with Pyloswine. So that was smart of him to make the adjustment. I go for the trick here giving him Lagging Tail which means we will be able to outspeed and get our rocks. Rocks is very important this game because it will be able to chip everything and whoever has a sash there will not be able to use the sash. I do not think his uh, toge kiss would have like defog um, this game. It's probably gonna be a boosting move with three attacks or maybe two attacks and boost, some, something like that. Uh, he, he likes to run it offensive anyway. We send out Indeedee here knowing with the lagging tail, Arcanine is kind of neutered and can't really deal with any of the other mons. We go for expanding force, we get the kill. He goes for Duraludon. Now this is very risky for me because we do die to a uh, Draco Meteor, but we do outspeed. So we would be able to know if this thing is AV or not, or if it's like invested or not. We go for the Expanding Force, and just as I thought, it's offensive, so it drops. He goes for Togekiss here. At this point, he has no switch-ins to Expanding Force, and he is going to need to uh, max his Mon. goes for the max here. We go for the Expanding Force just to see the damage, and that does a shit ton of damage. goes for the max Airstream for the speed boost. We actually survive. We make the switch to G Wiz here. G Wiz goes for the airstream again. That does a shit ton of damage again. We don't really need Wheezing here, since it's gonna die to Gengar and Pyloswine anyway. So that's a free sack for him. We go for Diggers B here, and we max ourselves. He goes for Aura Spear. Does decent damage. We are AV, that's why it did so little. We go for Airstream, get the KO. Brings out Seeking here. We're able to outspeed, get the Quake. He goes for Gengar here. Now he goes for Focus Blast, very interesting. So that does reveal that he is in fact um, Scarf. 
because we're focused last year and that will do some good damage could have done more if we didn't get like the speed death boost we go for max darkness here we could have actually just gone for like iron head and get a defense boost but i don't think it would matter we won't be able to kill the Pilot swine here, and I think if he if he uh, EQs, everything dies like to a two hit anyway. So I don't think there's much value on switching. We just go for the knockoff here. Get rid of the evil light. Goes for icicle crash. We die. So we go for indeed here with the terrain. He doesn't have ice shard, and we're able to. Take the last skill with expanding force. That's gonna be GG. It's dashing. We will be winning 3-0 against Joe. I'm not sure what Joe's record is, but I know he has a few wins already, so that's good for us. Beating another uh, good player in our division. Mm, so, interesting thoughts about the game. I don't think he had too much time to prepare for the game, but or maybe he just wasn't expecting the new move because the expanding force is a very new move and it is very strong. Um, I would say it's kind of too strong or at, I would at least put indeed into like a higher tier just to balance it out. I mean, it's currently like tier 3 or tier 4, I'm not sure. But I think it should be at least minimum tier 2. Because you can't really put something at uh, tier 1 just because of one move. Even though Dracovish is, you know, that one move that destroys everyone. But anyway, uh, that's going to be the game. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.